Good morning everyone or good evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Um, hello and welcome to a brand new video. So I thought it would be fun today because I have not done a video like this in so long, like just a cozy day in the life video. Um, yeah, it feels kind of strange. I mean, maybe my decorate for autumn video technically was one because it was kind of vlog style. So if we count that, it was the other day. <laughs> But apart from that, just filming my day-to-day -day life when there was no intention of like decorating or showing you something like that. Um, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. So I thought it'd be really fun today to just pick up the camera and I've got quite a busy day. I've got a busy weekend actually. And um, what we're doing today is, well, we've got early birthday celebrations for my little brother. So we're gonna go to Jump Inc in Lincoln. So that'll be really fun. We're doing that later on this afternoon. And then we're going out for some food after, which will be really nice. And I am planning on making some pumpkin spice cookies in this video because I've been craving making some, like, and I saw on the menu at Starbucks they've got a pumpkin spice cookie and I was like no no I'm gonna hold out I'm gonna make my own I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna bake my own and then I can be proud and be like I made them if they turned out okay <laughs> so I am gonna make some cookies and we've got Ryan's dad to come around this morning for a little bit um I've got the bathroom to, I've got some jobby bits to do I've got the bathroom needs to be cleaned I need to do that like high priority I want to finish getting ready get my hair sorted and clean the bathroom and yeah I'm I'm just excited to spend the day with you and I'm excited for the weekend it'll be lovely we've got an afternoon tea tomorrow for Ryan's nan um it's her 80th birthday and she doesn't know about it so that'll be really nice so it's just gonna be a really nice wholesome weekend really and it's actually really nice just to chat Ryan's having a lie-in this morning um it's not late to be fair but yeah he said he would like a lion I was like yeah go for it I was gonna have a lion but I was like actually I've got in my head I was like I've got things to do stuff to do <laughs> I've got some presents to wrap as well so maybe I should crack on with these rather than <laughs> chatting around but yeah okay so we've got bathroom to do presents to wrap bathroom to do hair to sort their main priority things and then anything else once I've got them done, I can just kind of chill a little bit more. So, I suppose I should probably do the bathroom first. I'll do my hair after. <laughs> so, we're going to ignore the fact that I've just soaked myself with the shower. I was just literally like, I just wanted to kind of rinse everything out before I start spraying everything. And, um, yeah, flicked it on myself. And, um, yeah, so that's what, that's how that is. So, let's just ignore that. i um, got one of my cloths ready. And um, I'm just going to kind of move things out of the way. <laughs> Pumpkin that, that love. I'm um, going to clear the surfaces and I'm just going to spray everything with that bathroom. But beforehand, I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go with Viacal on like the taps and things. going to let that sit. Then spray them with, with Flash and then give it all a big deep clean. So that's the plan. And then... After I rinse the shower, I am going to go in with this daily shower shine by Astonish. So I'm just going to go over the flash, scrub it all down, rinse it, then spray that. And you just leave it. You don't have to wash that off. Um, it says spray and leave, no scrubbing required. But I want to go in with the flash first just to give it a bit of deep clean. Um, and then finish off with that. Going to use the trusty duck in the toilet. If you know, you know. The pine scent is phenomenal. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, you all know how to clean a bathroom. You all do it yourselves and you probably use all that stuff. So <laughs> let's get cleaning. Ah. 
Okay, so I've popped some little curls in my hair. I was watching Virgin River. Um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it. My mum and sister was like banging on at me going, you need to see this, you need to watch this. It's so cozy, you'll love it. And my top's still down. <laughs> Oh goodness. Right, I've got something really exciting to unbox that I thought we'll unbox together. I was actually contacted by Teddy Blake a few weeks ago now and they reached out to me and was like, oh, would you like to collaborate? And I was like, oh my goodness, that would be an absolute dream. And they very, very kindly have sent me one of their handbags and I did get to pick it, which is absolutely incredible. And I have picked one for the autumn season and I can't wait to open it properly and have a look. I did just open the cardboard box just to check that it was the parcel I would thought it was gonna be and it is. So I'm so excited to unbox it together with you. So let's let's have a look. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So I did see they have another box in here. So it says Teddy Bake New York on it. Amazing. So I'm just gonna and get this out okay this seems so luxury i'm not gonna lie like it's in an actual box i am very grateful right now and i'm very excited to show you and see for myself what the bag is actually like that i picked so they are designer handbags and they're made in italy and luxury leather as mentioned here i'm really really excited oh look at this it's all fancy in the packaging right i'm gonna have to pop you over here just while i open it up oh, wow it comes in a lovely little duff bag how beautiful this feels so nice let's open it up and see what's inside oh my goodness guys look at this handbag oh my goodness this is absolutely perfect for the autumn season and i'm not gonna lie it's probably meant to look more like an apple but does that look like a little pumpkin to anyone <gasps> this is incredible i am absolutely obsessed with this it's sm it smells incredible <laughs> Oh wow, all of Teddy Blake's bags are made with luxurious leather from Italy and they're dyed and treated to withstand the test of time and maintain such a luxurious look and I can confirm it smells so good. Oh, why does it smell? It just smells amazing. So I was given a little bit of info on them and they're truly made in, in Italy. And each Teddy Blake bag is characterized by high quality construction, attention to detail, imaginative design, shape and durability. And they use all the same exquisite materials as all of the other luxurious brands and they never compromise on quality. So, uh, well, I can confirm at the moment, it absolutely, is outstanding this is the most premium bag i own now like look at that inside so inside we've got two large compartments i'm just going to take this out so i can show you properly oh got to scratch them out there as well so we've got two kind of open compartments which is lovely and then inside i love that it's got this middle zip because then i can pop anything like my little um card what like wallet in there my phone and actually have that zipped up and anything else it can just pop in the sides but this is just a perfect size bag because it's not too big it's not too small it's just absolutely insane and i absolutely love the fact that it comes with an additional strap so i can pop that on i can actually adjust it as well and then i can have it over my shoulder so i don't have to have it on my arm but i can if i want and i like that i've got the option for that so after looking on the website as well the teddy blake handbags they are looking designer handbags but without the excessive price point they make it much more affordable for someone that is after a luxurious piece but without having to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds on a bag so i will pop them in the description box below for you so you can go check out some of their handbags because they have so many incredible ones for autumn and there's so many different styles and designs like when i was looking on the website i was like 
this is gonna be hard because there's so many amazing styles there's so many different ones but i knew in my mind i knew for the autumn season i would absolutely love a lovely brown bag because i don't think i really have like a proper like brown handbag and i thought that will be amazing that will go with everything for autumn winter time and it'll be perfect and like i said it almost looks like a little pumpkin but the gold detailing on it is absolutely stunning i'm just admiring it now <laughs> oh i'm just admiring it i love it Kelly blake release new collections every month which is probably why there's so many amazing different styles online they have loads of designers that work to develop new and unique designs while trying to keep that price point to affordable levels so yeah i'm obsessed i that's all i can say about that i am truly obsessed <sighs> right sat on the bed I'm actually really warm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's because I'm in, not, I'm not in a rush, but you know when you're like, got a list of things to do and only so much time and you're like, I'm gonna get it all done. And I'm just getting a bit head up, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm a bit warm. Oh, but it probably didn't help that I curled my hair a little bit. <sighs> It's 24 degrees today, the sun has come back out and the heat just keeps rising in this place and it's, yeah. Anyway, I'm a bit warm, so if I'm looking a bit, a bit warm on my face, I might need to blot it. That is why. And I've just had to, I've come up here and I brought my stuff up because I was, I was busy, Ryan was watching something downstairs, so I was like, right, I'm going to wrap some gifts because it's my mum's birthday next week as well and then i'm gonna get them done and i brought everything up here and then i forgot something on the middle floor and then i forgot something on the bottom floor and i was like just running up and down running up and down. so that's probably not helped either anyway got some fun minion paper here that's cool <laughs> i got some nice plain gold paper as well and i'm just gonna wrap really um just wrap and chat you know and i i don't think it's worth showing you what i've got my mom because this video will go out before her birthday and she'll probably watch it and don't want to spoil the surprise so i won't be showing you that but hey ho anyway how is everyone has everyone started trickling out their autumn decor yet or not like i'm obsessed with this bedding <laughs> I love it I, honestly it makes me feel so cozy and yeah I love everything about it it's so cute and this is from As The Living if uh, if you haven't watched like my haul or my decorate video As The Living is where it's at they got some cute bits this year and so is for any other shops I am so here for it I'm very happy and I'm ready for the week of rain to commence it actually gives rain every day next week and I'm not mad about it actually, I'm very much here for it, it's fine, I just want it to cool the air, I just hate this muggy weather where you just don't know how to dress, first thing in the morning it's cool and then it just gets really muggy and hot and then I'm like no I'm done with it, anyway I digress, I'm just waffling about the weather, so British of me. <laughs> I had to just fish out some socks for we're going to jump ink as I mentioned this afternoon and um, I'm really excited about it but I remember how like knackering it is because I'm not the fittest person but it's going to be so much fun and I just like frolicking around jumping around on the trampoline so if you don't know what it is it is like indoor kind of like trampolines kind of inflatable bits is it inflatable we, that's not really the right word it's like it's not soft play <laughs> like for adults it kind of is there's elements to it that's like that but it's mainly like big trampolines and things like that it's really fun and i think you get like an hour slot so we're gonna go do that and it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be good but we've been before and you buy their socks the jump ink socks and i was like i need to fish them out because i don't really want to be buying more socks and i found them nice and blue them socks <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be really really fun i am actually waiting for an amazon order so i've got pumpkin puree coming today and that's what i need for them pumpkin spice cookies that i'm going to make in this vlog and i'm very excited about it so i am waiting for the amazon order patiently prime was a godsend because i completely forgot i didn't have any i was like i can't make pumpkin spice cookies without the pumpkin puree like that's not gonna happen so i went on amazon yesterday prime saved me i was like 
yes yes they had like three cans on there for i think it was nine pound it's probably quite pricey actually but tesco was the place that i usually get it from and it didn't say it was in stock online or like in the store and i was like oh no and yeah so i was like oh anyway I'm gonna stop waffling i'm gonna actually wrap i'm saying i've got all, i ain't got all the time in the world here and i'm just sat like da -da -da. just had a knock at the door and it was amazon which means that the pumpkin puree is here i'm out of breath again going upstairs that's not good is it so ignore all that over there there's mess i need to sort and I'm gonna unbox the um, Amazon order. We did, was I expecting something else, so I've just checked that it is the right one, but yeah, how exciting. So I ordered the pumpkin puree, but I also grabbed some pumpkin pie spice, because at some point we're gonna be making a pumpkin pie as I do every year, and I thought this will be perfect to include, and it's just really good to have in, so I got that. I'm just gonna sit here a minute. <laughs> And unbox this. So the pumpkin pie spice has arrived nicely. I think this is the tin pumpkin. This is the pumpkin puree that I got. With this is the one we usually get from Tesco, actually. So, but I couldn't find it, and they didn't have it in stock online. So this is when we get this little baking buddy. It actually has the recipe on the side for a pumpkin pie, which is really good. So yeah, I got three of those lovely cans, so that's great. So now I can make some pumpkin spice cookies later. Very, very excited about that. And then the other thing I've got, I mean, this is excessive, this is excessive packaging. I did get the big one. I've got a smaller one. That's not bad for £10. Okay, fair enough. Okay, maybe the packaging wasn't too excessive. I didn't think I got a big one. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm really excited. So, I got the Monin, 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 don't know how you pronounce it, pumpkin spice syrup. Apparently, this is the closest syrup you can get to make it taste like the Starbucks drink. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to give it a whiff. Oh my god, that is like intense pumpkin spice. That's really intense. I'm so intrigued. Apparently this one's really good, so I thought, we'll give it a whirl. I hear about it every year, and I thought, wow, let's just test it. Um, I did think I got a smaller one, but maybe that's why it was £10. But £10 for this big bottle, it's a glass. So yeah, I've got all my pumpkin goods and I've dropped the pumpkin spice on the floor. I'm all ready now to pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, is that a word? Everything. <laughs> all the pumpkin bacon, the pumpkin coffees and just be all pumpkin-like. <laughs> right, I've changed my top now and I have tied my hair up, taken my jewellery off and I'm ready to head to jump now. I wanted a longer top on, like just t-shirt that was like gonna cover my bum because the other one only just did and I'm like nah I like a really long t-shirt if I'm like jumping around frolicking about on like inflatable things so I feel really comfy now and I am ready oh nearly ready got hair in my eye to go have fun at Jump Inc so let's go have a blast eyes, and you can tell me of your lies I will put out a if it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be Oh my goodness that was so much fun we literally had such a blast like i was so tired we were all just like flagging and we were so hot like the aircon was not really like proper aircon in there it was like hot 
air, it was horrible, but we had a laugh. It was good, it was so much fun. And then we went for food afterwards, which was really lovely. I had steak and it was so good, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, we just had such a good laugh and it was really, really fun, so yeah. It was, it was it was been a great day it's been a lovely day and we're back home now i have got changed quickly i am wanting a shower shortly because i felt grim but i was like i need to get out of that top that i was just jumping around in because i felt grim so i've put on a jumper freshen myself up a little bit i'm gonna go for a shower in a little while but really want to make the pumpkin spice cookies and i feel like this will be a perfect way to end the evening with some nice little cookies so Hopefully it turns out all right. So I'm just gonna prep all the ingredients, get everything out ready, and then it shouldn't take too long. So I will film the little process and I will leave the recipe in the description box from what I found online. So you can follow along with it too. Um, I am gonna mix it up though, because part of the recipe, it has like a cream cheese frosting, but I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna do like a little icing drizzle on top, I think. So I'll link the recipe that I'm following anyway, so you can follow along too if you wanna make some pumpkin spice cookies. So I feel like it's time to get our bacon and I've brought the pumpkin puree down. I've got the pumpkin spice. I don't know if I'll need to use this to be fair. I think I'm using more like cinnamon, um, maybe clove ginger things like that so i probably won't need that for, for this recipe but i'm gonna pop it in the cupboard anyway and oh my goodness i got this out i want i really want to burn one but well yeah melt one we picked these up from bnm the other night and um they're so good fireside marshmallow it's so strong smell it through the packaging and it smells like like mar like fireside marshmallow you know when you're melting marshmallows it smells like that gooey sweetness and it's for one pound fifty so good they've got so many different ones in here but definitely pick up one of these if you're a fan of that kind of sickly scent got all the ingredients laid out ready and i forgot i had these little measuring kind of spoons how cute these were from primark actually they're a good little disney find i think they're really really cute love the pastel colors on these Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. You're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within Guys, they've come out the oven and they're perfect Like, the second- I did them in two little batches This one okay, came out bigger and more round we had a few like different misshapen ones here but I don't think that really matters they look insane i'm really impressed with this and apparently they're going to be more of like a kind of cakey kind of cookie than like a i don't know like a crunchy cookie they're going to be more of a cakey kind of texture um but i'm really really chuffed i'm just letting them cool now and i've prepped a little bowl of icing ready so i will pop the recipe again in the description by box below i mean it's just a general kind of icing sugar it's icing sugar vanilla extract a little bit of milk and some butter and just mix it together um so i'm gonna drizzle that on top and i might actually then sprinkle some of the pumpkin pie spice on top as well i think that will just finish it off really nicely so i'm really chuffed i had a small misshapen one and i have tested that just to make sure it was all cooked okay and they tasted really good these ones are nearly cool these ones are not because i popped them in first and i thought i didn't want to put them in at the same time because i was like right i'm gonna use these as like a trial <laughs> and they were they were okay so then i did the bigger dollops on this one and they're perfect i'm so happy so yeah really really chuffed with these so just wait for cool down then the icing can go on top Tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love
feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. one of these cookies shall we and see what they're like inside look at that oh my goodness I'm just gonna i'm just gonna break it in half so we can see see what i mean it's like a cakey kind of texture that looks really yummy though oh just need to drop it mmm <laughs> Oh my goodness. I've literally got stuff all down me, but they are so delicious. So I'm really chuffed. Can you imagine if it came out like a dud? And I all went through the trouble of ordering the pumpkin puree and everything. But it is so good. Ah, uh, pumpkin cake cookie. Just a delicious pumpkin festive treat. And you can taste. You can taste the cinnamon and the nutmeg in there. Okay, well, I'm so happy that they turned out okay. And yeah, just like I said, I've really enjoyed making them. And I hope you enjoyed watching the little process with me. And yeah, I hope you've got some cute little photos as well of them all displayed on their little wooden board. I think that's really sweet. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to round this video off here thank you so much for watching if you've stuck around to the end well done because i feel like this has been a really like chatty or lengthy one and yeah i just really appreciate you watching commenting liking whatever so thank you so much again i hope you're all doing well and stay tuned for the next video because i am going to be an m in the next video and i'm going to show you around the shop and show you exactly what's new in store. There might have been Christmas involved. <laughs> it's too early for Christmas, but they, it's not on my part, it's on their part. They were sneaking out the Christmas stuff and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought I'd do a little B&M what's new in store and show you exactly what they've got. So stay tuned for that one. I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves, bye. Mm -hmm.